So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get set up with replicate.com, which is going to allow you to access and use a load of state of the art AI image generation models in terms of generating images, text, as you can see here, music, speech, all sorts of things, including like Flux, the various models of Flux, Stable Diffusion 3, we've got loads on here. Now I'm not associated or affiliated with Replicate, but I've used it personally for years, and I really like the pricing model, so um, I feel happy to recommend it to other people. So the first thing to do is to click Sign In, and this button up here. And it's going to tell you to sign in with a GitHub account. Now, if you've got one of those already, that's great. You can continue here. But if not, just click sign in with GitHub. Both of them are linked in terms of login. So you just need to make a GitHub account, which is free and easy to set up. So then you go down here and it says new to GitHub, create an account here. So you click that and follow the process. And it's super easy. So once you've got your GitHub account set up, you can then use that to log in. So obviously you just go back to the sign in screen, sign in the GitHub and then continue from there. Now, once you're signed into Replicate, you'll get the dashboard screen like you can see here. It's got a few things on it. It's got the recent models that you've accessed down the side, just to sort of remind you of things you've been um, playing with recently. You've got down the bottom a little summary of your most recent generations or predictions as it calls them, and a current summary of your invoice total for that for that payment period that month. You can see mine's $32.32. Bear in mind, I've run a lot of generations um, to make it go even that high. So um, I'll go through the pricing with you shortly because um, it's very cost effective and you don't have to commit to any subscriptions. But what you will need to do is on the left hand side, you can see it says set up billing. And I've got a green check mark there because I've obviously already done it. I've been using this for, for years. But what you need to do is to add a payment detail so go up to your account at the very top here your account name click on that go to account settings and go to the billing section and click manage billing so all my information is going to be blurred out of course for privacy reasons but you just basically add a payment method here um, and that just allows you to seamlessly pay for what you use and you're using someone else's GPUs. So basically, it doesn't matter if you've got a terrible computer. This is the benefit, again, of using this software. You don't have to have a powerful computer to have all these local installed. You can use the latest sort of technology um, at super fast speeds and only pay for what you use, which is very reasonable. So once you've got the billing set up, you're kind of ready to go. So you can go to the featured models page so here it says you can try featured models out and replicate for free and after a bit we'll set you up billing. So if you click on the featured model section, you can, there's a few models here on the screen which it'll let you use for free before you have to commit to setting up payment. Now, I can't show you that because I've been registered for so long, I've, way, I've you know gone past that point. But in theory, if you come to this explore page before you set up your billing, you can have a little play around with some of the models on the screen here. So you can see we've actually got Flux Dev on here at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, so it'll let you go in and play around with that for a bit. Just have a little look before then you commit to charge it, which is a really good feature. But let's just click on this to access this um, Flux screen. And let me just show you where to see the actual cost you're going to pay for the using these different services. So usually when you go onto each of the models, of which there are lots, and I'll show you more of that in a second, but you go right up to the top here, right with the key information, it's got, it's all in, it's in dollars, so it's $0.03 an image. So basically roughly three cents an image. Now this is based on a prediction of the GPU time um, that's run versus how long a typical image would take on that GPU setup. So I don't believe that's an absolutely guaranteed exact cost, but it should be, you know, there or thereabouts, that, that amount. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll usually see show images per $1. So you can just, if, you, if you're a bit confused by the 0, 0.0 or whatever, and you're just like, just show me how many images I can get for a dollar, roughly. So using this model, using sort of standard, standard settings and things like that, typical settings, you're gonna you're gonna get over 30 images for a dollar, which is great value. And you can go to the explore page up here in the top corner or the top bar. It's gonna take you to the featured models page. But then if you keep going down, you've got all of these different 
categories here. So I want to generate images. Well, you can see you use a language model, caption images. So if you just if you just know the type of work you want to do, but you don't know what all the models are because there's like hundreds on here, you can go to the category. So I just want to generate images. And now it's going to give you a list of all different models and, and things available. So you've got um, Stable Diffusion, Excel. You've got all these other versions and variants, SDXL Emoji, Flux here. So you can just scroll through and check out all the different kind of options that are available to you for generating images. And it's got like um, Stable Diffusion 3 on here. And these are all, a lot of these are sort of variants on Stable Diffusion or, or different models and things like that. Um, and yeah, so you can just go through and try them out. And with each one, so let's just go to this one, SDSL, X, sorry, SDXL Lightning 4-step. So this is actually a really um, low cost, very quick version of SDXL that's extremely optimized. And if we go down to the cost, you can see that here. So this model costs approximately $0.0042 to run on Replicate. So 238 runs per dollar. That does vary slightly, but generally speaking, you're getting over 200 images for a dollar. So again, you can see the quality is still excellent with this. And that's just because this particular model is really optimized. But you get the idea. You can go through and um, go through and check out everything on here, whatever you're doing, generate music. You get the idea by now. You can just go through. And it's always got a sort of replicate owl pick, which is just a good place to start if you're if you're not sure which which um, model to try in that particular category. And it's got other recommendations here. Um, and you can see under them all how many runs they've got. And it's normally listed by popularity. So this particular music generation platform has got, or model has got 2 million runs, which shows you that it's incredibly popular. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best, but it's obviously um, the most popular. And then it sort of descends down into lesser popular ones which again, worth checking out. It's not really an indicator of how good or not they are, um, potentially, but it's it's a good place to start for sure. So that's about it, really. That's all you need to do to get running, up and running on replicate.com and start checking out and enjoying all of these AI platforms that it offers. 